is uh, assigned to a 5-inch 38 gun turret on the uh, USS Maddox, which is a uh, destroyer, United States warship destroyer. My older brother uh, had a great influence on me. He was in the uh, Korean War, and uh, I, as today, I still I have high respect for my older brother, and I just kind of wanted to follow his footsteps, and then. Uh, later on, my younger brother followed my footsteps. So, you know, there's three of us in the, in the U.S. Navy. Uh, it's just uh, uh, something that, I, and, and I, I had always wanted to to uh, serve my country, even from when I was a, a small child. And again, I think a lot of it had to do because uh, I, I always believed my brother was a hero, and uh, still do. July the 28th. The USS Maddox, all, all of my crew, my fellow crew members, we were all in a, a place called a Keelung, Taiwan. Uh, actually, we were in port in Keelung, Taiwan. And when we received orders to uh, take this DeSoto mission uh, from from the, the Department of Defense, and obviously, you know, we didn't know what, what we were supposed to do at that time. It was uncoded, so. We left uh, Keelung, Taiwan in the latter part of July of 64. Uh, August the 1st, 1964, uh, we were informed that we were going into the uh, Gulf of Tonkin on this DeSoto assignment. And the mission was to uh, do electronic surveillance uh, to determine the type of uh, radar, uh, electronic devices, and uh, try to determine the type of warships that the North uh, Vietnamese had in their possession and, and that they were using. We were in there about probably over 36 hours maybe after we entered on August the 1st. August the 2nd at about 4.30 in the afternoon while doing this and we, we were just a very short distance off of the coast of Vietnam running this electronic surveillance. Uh, we were suddenly attacked uh, by North Vietnamese uh, gunboats, PT boats. Uh, took a lot of uh, uh, 50 caliber machine gun fire and a, a lot of um, torpedo attacks. August the 4th and August the 5th, both of us, uh, the Maddox and the Turner Joy, uh, we were hammered again. We, we were literally in those gun turns for 48 hours nonstop. We never left those gun turns. It was Super hot. The, the humidity was tremendous uh, uh, during during those those few days we were in there. Um, we had uh, rations that we would we would eat actually inside the gun turrets because we we would never leave the gun turrets. When we came out of that incident, uh, and we actually. Opened the, opened the door of that turn and we started leaving. I mean, it, it, I will never forget this as long as I live. The, the bulkheads or the walls of the ship, as far as you can see, were literally, and that's a, a gray, all Navy ships are gray, and, and the, the bulkheads were black. They were from, from all of, of the gun smoke, the soot of those guns. It's, God knows how many rounds of those 5H-38s that we fired, but the, 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 the bulkheads, as far as you can see, were black. The deck was black. Uh, the casing, the brass casings that, that have the powder that are ejected from the turret, and they they're are about three and a half foot long by five inches cylindrical casings, so they're pretty long. And couldn't even see the deck 
because of all those casings that had been injected from the, our, our turret, we fired. I mean, you're literally walking over these casings just to get get back to to where you where you get inside the ship and maybe you know get a shower, get cleaned up a little bit. Our incident is kind of what I call uh, you know the match that lit the fire, the start of the Vietnam War.